Hi, welcome to a new video. Welcome to Casey Life. Today we are going to put this in the house because we have been bothered by cockroaches. It says on the back that you can use this for three to five spots. Um, but my friend who bought them for me told me to only use one bag for two spots. But then I figured I have 12 places where I want to put them. So I want to divide five bags over 12 pieces of cardboard. I've been cutting them today because you need to put the green leaf on the cardboard and then just put it in a dark corner. Um, and I'm planning to put two in every room of the house, even though in some places we've not seen cockroaches, but at least if we place them in every room, then hopefully they won't come near this house again. Um, so yeah, you're supposed to put them in dark places, places where you have seen them. So far we have seen them in the living room and in the bathroom like the most of them in the bathroom and uh, I've seen one in the bedroom oh one in the fridge as well um chop is eating ginger I can smell it <laughs> and uh last Sunday you were just sitting here and uh there was a pretty big spider crawling so I, I was like Chops can you please kill that spider for me because I'm scared of spiders and it was not a type that I normally see in the Netherlands so it freaked me out so he killed it five minutes later I went to the bathroom and I was like ah. so he saw yeah. me you're like what I was like ah. <laughs> don't you remember and I stepped back so I didn't even have to talk Chops immediately knew that something was up so um, he came to the rescue and he killed like the mother of all the cockroaches in his house. Um, it was pretty big. Um, and I think I've seen her before and then I just walked away because I was too scared to kill it. So that was Sunday and I never want to see that again. So today we're going to apply this, uh, what do you call it, poison, I guess. And then the idea is that they eat it and then in a couple of days they'll be dead and then I really hope that I won't find them dead all over because that would be gross but I've used them once before a couple of years ago and um, I used the green leaf at the house and I've never seen cockroaches after that so they probably went somewhere else to die and I hope that will happen today too let's put them into place and then I'm gonna hope that they'll die. It's not very pacifist living to wish things will die, but for cockroaches and mosquitoes, I definitely make an exception. Okay, let's get to it. to put them under the fridge 
and under the cooker because those are the darkest places in the kitchen and that's why they come often this is the second place in the living room just there where it's not bothering us bathroom is most important because this is what we have seen the most. Let me take one at a time. Usually, I've seen them either behind there, but it's too wet normally there, so I want to put them and behind here. So, behind the toilet is a good place. All right. Then we have to just be careful with our soap, but uh, I hope that they will find it. I guess underneath the bed. Put one here, underneath this bed stand. And then one on the other side underneath the bed. We'll get back to you and tell you what happened in a week. If we haven't seen a cockroach in a week, we'll let you know and then it has worked properly. Or if we see dead cockroaches. So we're not going to say goodbye yet. Get back to you in a week. It is uh, Monday evening and uh we told you that we were going to be back on monday evening to give an update on the cockroach situation so i haven't seen any cockroaches since wednesday when we put the poison out what about you yeah so one last night kill it okay Okay, yeah, so it one. didn't work or? I don't know. The one I saw was, was not dancing. <laughs> was it dancing? Mm -hmm. No, it looked drunk or something. <laughs> it looked drunk? Ish, ish, yeah. Mm. So maybe it was poisoned and it was dying mm. or? Mm, looks like it. Okay. Um. I haven't seen any. Actually, that one this morning, now that you're talking about it, I came out and I saw it on the floor and I was like, hmm, that's a cockroach. It seems like it, but I, I hadn't opened the curtains yet. So I put, took a slipper and I thought I killed it, but it was apparently already dead. Because you left it there. Yeah, for you to see. Yeah. Well, I thought it was, it was alive. But then I just throw it out, so... Okay, let's just assume that was a lone survivor. That one was a lone survivor. So then it means it worked. I haven't seen the big mamas of the cockroaches and I haven't seen the small ones. So I think uh, we're going to remove all the poison tomorrow. Of course, the trash will be taken out tomorrow. We'll be removing it and uh, we'll see what happens. And then if they come back, We'll just put it again. I haven't checked all the the um, pieces of cardboard yet, but there's one behind the dustbin, which is of course very easy to check because you get there every day. And there's a hole in the pile. So I'm assuming that an insect or a cockroach has been digging a hole in it and eating it. So that maybe proves that they actually been eating from it. Um, I think we're going to end this video here because I'm tired. Um, Peace! He's about to sleep. I'm out. Okay, he's out. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and we'll see you again next time. Bye!